Hey, hey, everybody, we are live. Welcome, welcome. Um, so what I want to do today is just do a quick little overview of Gutenberg. Gutenberg is now over a year old. Um, it was released last year right before WordCamp. Um, and it's grown a lot. It's grown a lot in its year and developers have embraced it and are using it and are adding on to its functionality, which is one of the best things about WordPress is that there's a huge developer community and the developers are constantly just making WordPress better by their plugins and their themes and their integrations with each other. So I have the site set up with the Astra theme. I really love the Astra theme. It's one of the best sets out there. Let's take a look at that Astra theme. I feel like um, one of the best things that I like about it is that they have the Astra starter sites. So if you want something to start out with, um, you can just go in and get one of the starter sites, pick any page builder that you want, including um, Gutenberg. So you can just use the built-in Gutenberg for WordPress and not have to get any additional page builders. Um, and they will go and create those layouts and then you can go in and just modify it and play around with it and make it your own. So, um, Astra is completely free and they do have a pro version. Um, the starter sites is also free. Um, but some require the agency package. Um, if you do hire me, I do have access to the agency package and so we can set up different um, set up your site with one of the agency um, layouts um, for a great little price. All right. So um, in today's little demo, we are going to go in and modify this um, front page of a travel blog. So we're going to go in and click on edit. And this has been done completely with Gutenberg and an add-on plugin that's also by the developers of the Astra theme. So let's take a look. You can see it doesn't look quite as pretty as it does in the front page, but you can get to all the content and kind of make changes. So quick little changes that we're going to make. Um, I want to add my name here. Um, maybe I don't have... Um, uh, I'll leave that one. Maybe you were going to do, um, check out destinations. So I don't have any videos, but I want people to check out all the different destinations I've been to. We have social sharing. Again, all of this was done with Gutenberg and then a plugin called Gutenberg Blocks Library. And this is a free download. It doesn't cost, there's no per version. It's just the free one that's available in the WordPress repository. And you can see all the additional blocks that you can get. One big one is the post layout block. This is really a nice block. Um, testimonials is another nice one. Some of these aren't even included in the free versions of the page builders like Elementor and um, Beaver Builder. Um, so, and you have them here in this free version and you don't have to add even more plugins to your site. Because remember, the more plugins you have, the more it's way down. So, um, as much as I love my page builders, I'm trying to use Gutenberg more and more for things because it is built into, uh, WordPress. So things like an info box is really nice and put in different information, um, a little image on top and then features. There's some really great blocks and um, options in here. Um, post layout, we're gonna take a look at that. Price list um, is a common one. Um, Google map is a really nice one. It works really well. Okay, so let's go back in here and let's say the first thing we wanna do is feature destination, and we're gonna add a Google map. So the purple ones are the um, ultimate add-ons, and we can see a full list of them over here. So there's our Google map. 
And let's say one of our feature destinations is the Eiffel Tower. So we're gonna add a little map of the Eiffel Tower. There it is. And we can zoom into the location. Um, we can adjust the height and make it a bigger map or a smaller map. We have quite a few different little options in here and it's connecting straight into Google Maps um, with no additional setup, which is great because a lot of plugins will need you to go set up a uh, API key on, um, I'm sorry, on um, Google Maps or Google to bring in the data. All right, so there's our little Google map. Let's say um, this is a, one of the post grids. I don't wanna leave it, I wanna edit it. There we go. And what's nice about this is this is a feature that you find in the advanced um, cost uh, paid versions of the um, builders. So here you can pick what you wanna show, posts or pages. Um, if you want to limit by tags or by categories, we don't have any tags on this site, so we're gonna do categories. You can do all, or you can go into a category. So this one is road trip. And then let's say we wanna do an additional one. So we'll go in and maybe we wanna do a masonry layout instead of a grid layout. So that's a grid layout. Notice how all of the um, sections are the same height. So let's say we wanna do a masonry. So post grid, post carousel, um, masonry maybe above a little bit. There we go, there's post masonry. So it will by default pull everything in and masonry just means that's gonna take as much space as it needs. So all of these are different heights because of the text. Um, and we have some options to kind of um, as well on this. So again, we can choose all categories or we can just pick one category. So this category has four little posts. Um, we can order by date or by title um, or completely random. It's kind of nice, the amount of columns. So let's say we want four columns um, on the desktop. That fits pretty well. And then you can go and modify it for um, a tablet view and a mobile view. So that's really nice. Um, and then under image, you have options to show the featured image. And then content, notice how this one has a lot more content items than um, the one before it. So here we just have the title and the date. And here we have the title, the date, um, a snippet, and read more. So let's say we want to, um, don't wanna show comments. Uh, we don't wanna show the author, we have the date, and we still wanna show the excerpt. Let's say up here we wanna do the same thing. So we'll go up to this one, and here's the content, and we'll add the excerpt here. But even though the excerpt is there, the posts still stay the same height, whereas in the masonry, it's all different heights. And if we had more posts and it would start piling up um, underneath. Show that by changing the layout to two columns. There we go, that's really nice. I like the look of that. Um, so those are some of the advanced ultimate add-on blocks. And then the last thing I want to talk about is some of the built-in. So Gutenberg has um, updated and it has more layout elements now. So we have the option of columns, groups is really nice, and buttons. Columns allows you to choose um, three column layouts or two column layouts where you can just have like text in each column or an image. You get the full block editor so you can go in and you know create an image here and then text here. Um, and do kind of a nice little custom um, area. Um, heading there. Um, and then the other one is a group. 
So this is already kind of grouped, but let's say we have just some text areas. Um, and these two text areas, and they kind of just belong together. Maybe this first one is a heading um, and the second one, but there's no relation besides that. We know that they go together. So Gunberg now has the option you can highlight both sections. And then up here, you have the option to group them so that they're related to each other. And so it will do a nice little grouping. And now when you move them around, whether you drag and drop or you um, or you move with the arrows, you will see that it's um, grouped together and it will move together throughout the page. All right, let's update really quick and take a look at our changes. So easy peasy one, I changed the name here. I changed the checkout destinations. Didn't do anything to that. We did add another block here with um, our different categories. So maybe we would want to like add a title here for the different categories. Um, and then here is our Eiffel Tower map. It's really nice. And then here is our um, our text that we grouped together. So that's the heading and then that's the plain text. So our testimonials um, and some creds. So great. Thank you for watching. This was awesome. I hope it helped you out, get to know Gunberg a little bit more. And we'll see you next time on Facebook Live.